Greetings and uh, welcome to How Do I Do This Through One video series. Today we're going to cover Yahoo Messenger and just a few features inside the program. Yahoo Messenger is really a versatile chat program and uh, if it's not already open on your screen you can go ahead and open it up. If it is already open you can find it down here on your status bar down by your clock. It will be on the right bottom corner by your clock or in this case it's over here on the left. Um, it depends on how you have your desktop set up anyway. Go ahead and open the window up. Uh, we're going to cover two things today. We're going to cover your your avatar and your personal information, how you set up, how you're being viewed from other people's perspective online, and we're also going to cover how to keep people from annoying you or popping up on your screen. Two of the big features that are, are most underused in the program, but can be really advantageous for you. Um, when you're online, you don't want people to bother you. You've got the option here to drop down and go to invisible or tell people that you're busy. That means that you can actually show up online and tell people, you know, don't bother me, I'm working, or you can actually show up completely invisible, which means they don't even know you're online, which gives you the option to do what you need to do without having people popping up and saying hello while you're working or doing whatever. And it still allows you to monitor other people as they come and go. And if you see someone you want to chat with, you can pop up and say hello. Anyway, the other thing I would quickly mention here is your display image. A lot of people have the page degrade base, and quite honestly, if you're going to be online, you really should put your best foot forward and show a little bit about your personality and who you are. Now, you've got three options here. You can choose not to not to share your display image, which means you show nothing except the pasty gray face like these. Or you can share your picture and choose something that's already pre-made here. Or you can do what I did, which is browse, and you can select a photo that you've created, and then you can click on it and choose something specifically that you create, and it will show up here on your avatar. So when people look at you, they will know a little bit about your personality and who you are. Anyway, um, this is a good feature to use to basically personalize it, but more importantly to give people an idea, a little bit of insight into your personality and who you are, and also your moods. If you're in a bad mood, you can change your avatar to something like, you know, the Tasmania Devil or what have you. You can go online, you can find this stuff and just post it on your avatar. Makes it kind of fun, but it also gives people insight to who you are and a little bit about your your uh, character, a little bit about per, you know, your personality. Um, the other thing is you can go in here and you can click on your status messages, and you can display a message. You can say hello world or what have you. Um, this is something that's not a bad idea to use as well to give people a little bit of insight as to if you're doing okay, you're not doing so well, you know. Uh, just little personal insights or, you know, quips at people or whatever you want to put up there. It's just kind of kind of fun to tell people a little bit about who you are or what's going on in your life without having to sit there and chat with them for 20 minutes and catch up. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to point out today is uh, rather an annoyance. And I'm going to point out now that Yahoo Messenger has this menu, the file menu bars here file menu bar has different drop downs and suppose if I click on somebody here that I know that's not online you can tell because they're grayed out and the people who are online or on a mobile device you can tell are highlighted another good indicator for you to learn and know this stuff because you can tell who's doing what or who's not available and who not to bother and anyway going back to the menu bar you can click on here and you have the drop down menu either from a chat window or from the main Yahoo Messenger window. Both of these will have the preferences. If you click on preferences on either one of these, it's going to open up this dialog. Now you can go through and set skins, you can set your appearance, you can set up how you want your text to appear, you can just modify stuff to make it really personal for you and to tell people or show people a little bit about your personality based upon what you're displaying to them. Now people in a lot of cases, these will tell you what people can see or what they can't see. Now, let's get on down here to keeping people from popping up on your screen. 
I find it most annoying for people to pop up on my screen because I don't know people. I go to a chat room or if I log in, there's a lot of people out there phishing or trying to spam you to get information from you. They're called bots. And basically what you can do is you can use the ignore list feature to turn everyone off on your list, which means if they're not already a member of your friends list, in other words, if they're not in your address book and they're not already a friend, you click on this, click apply, and they cannot pop up a window and chat with you. That's a good feature because basically it will eliminate all the people popping up on your screen fishing or just trying to annoy you. Um, or in some cases you want to get to know somebody a little bit better. You can come in here, flip it over to ignore people on my list. You can then add somebody to your buddy list. Then you can switch this back over, click apply. And once they've had been added to your list, then you can go into a private message chat room with them, which is just you and them, nobody else bothering you, and PM with it. Just be aware that anything that in a personal message or private message, anything that you're chatting with, you're in their front room so they can see you, they know who you are, and they've got access to basically a lot of information about you. So, you know, use a little caution and common sense. Um, if you're going to display your your image, be aware that people out there, some will try getting information for nothing and, and take advantage of you. Others are, are just curious. Either way, it's up to you to learn, know, and understand this stuff so that you can protect yourself. And I would caution, don't be too paranoid. Be, you know, be cautious and, and get to know people before you invite them into your home because that's exactly what you do when you, when you add them to your buddy list. You're inviting them into your house. And if you turn on your camera and chat with them with video camera, you've literally given them a doorway right into your home. So just be aware of that. Um, also, if you just want to ignore people who are annoying you, but you don't mind getting people popping up trying to get to know you or, or saying hello to you to make new friends, that's perfectly acceptable too. And you can add them to your list. If somebody particularly is harassing you or giving you a problem, you can click on ignore the person, add them to your list, and it will ignore a particular person and you can add their ID in here and then click ignore. Um, good features to use, very useful and it's also something you should learn how to use because you're protecting yourself but you're also utilizing the program to make it work for you. If you don't know the program, you're the one that's in the dark. Um, don't hold other people responsible if, if you're giving out personal information and you're not making yourself aware of the possibilities. Um, ignorance is bliss, but ignorance can cost you identity theft and other things. So be aware of what's out here, what's available, and how to protect yourself. Anyway, um, enjoy this video. I hope that it's been useful. Um, I hope that you find that these things that I brought up today are something that you don't know and, and hopefully you can reference later. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, or if there's something more you'd like to cover in Yahoo or other programs, please send me a message. Uh, go to my Yahoo channel and uh, comment on my videos there. Also, send me a personal email at how do I do this zero one at yahoo.com. Comment and or make a suggestion for something you'd like to learn or something you didn't quite understand. Once again, thank you for watching, and uh, keep tuning into my channel for more videos. Have a good day, and take care of yourselves.